Bad Boys for Life is the third installment in the Bad Boys franchise. It once again stars Will Smith and Martin Lawrence as Mike and Marcus, the two rogue cops now middle-aged and close to retirement. When a series of assassinations are undertaken, targeting law enforcement personnel with links to a past case, the two bad boys are forced to ride together one last time while adapting with the changing world around them. I went into Bad Boys 3 with very little anticipation and I guess very little expectation. The trailers for this thing didn't really get me all that hyped up, but I would also be lying if I said that I have been a Bad Boys fan for life. I mean, I did watch these two back probably like 15 years ago, and upon re-watching them this last week in the lead up to the new one, there was very little about them that I actually remembered. This is the first Bad Boys movie not to be directed by Michael Bay, and without him behind the lens, it does feel a little less overblown. I mean, there are a lot of really big action set pieces here that do have that same ridiculous, excessive, far-fetched energy as those from the previous two. I mean, without that kind of feeling, this wouldn't be a Bad Boys movie. But without Bay here, this does kind of take a more grounded, I guess more realistic feel. This movie presents us with more matured versions of our characters, which is just as well, because as I said, it has almost been 20 years between installments. They are not the sprightly, cocky young guys that they were when we last saw them. They have lived a whole lot of life in this time period. They're now two middle-aged guys who really aren't the same as they used to be. Their bodies aren't the same. They don't have the same energy. They don't have the same stamina. They have a very different worldview. And what I liked about this movie is that they didn't try to gloss over all of this. It actually presents them as realistic middle-aged men who are just really trying to get on with their life and trying to get on with their job. It shows that the movie is not trying to stretch for nostalgia. It's not something that is stuck in the past and it actually makes this movie feel a whole lot fresher. But the coolest thing here is this movie takes this idea of these two middle-aged guys who are doing the same job they were doing 20 years ago but struggling to do it, it takes it by the balls and turns it into this recurring joke throughout the film. So it adds again this extra level of freshness, it's a whole new perspective on this story and on the characters and I think it just worked absolutely perfectly. The greatest thing about these movies I think is that each one is a snapshot of the time that it has spawned from. The first movie is just absolute pure 90s action, the second film is balls to the walls early 2000s action block Buster. And this one takes a more refined, modern action take on it. And again, it's a more matured kind of film, just as the characters are. And this really forms this really beautifully rounded trilogy of films. While Mike and Marcus tackle one of their biggest cases ever in this whole new world, these are two guys who really are still stuck in the past. So the movie surrounds them by a whole new team who are here to assist them on one last ride with a whole bunch of modern technology. They are a highly advanced strategic division known as Ammo, and they're led by actors Vanessa Hudgens, Paola Nunez, Charles Melton, and Alexander Ludwig. These are some really great characters who have some great chemistry with our two leads, and really bounce off them really, really well with some really great humour, and a lot of great heart along the way as well. These are characters that work so well that I could actually see them spinning off into their own adventures somewhere down the line, and I kind of have a feeling that if this movie does good Good box office numbers, this might just happen. Both Smith and Lawrence are on absolute fire in this movie. They are better than ever. I think that this is actually the best performance these two have given in a Bad Boys movie to this point. And whether that's because they're a bit older and they can take the piss out of themselves just a little bit more, there's a lot more humour here and there's a lot more things that we can actually laugh at these guys for. And I think it adds this whole new level of charm and humour to the movie. Quite honestly, this is the best movie that Will Smith has done in a very, very long time. I cannot remember the last movie that he did that I enjoyed this much. And this could quite possibly be Martin Lawrence's best movie ever. Overall, Bad Boys 3 is actually a really fantastic movie. I've come out of the cinema loving this despite going in with very, very low expectations. And it's always nice to get a little bit of a surprise like that out of a movie. There was this real electric energy in the cinema 
and I can't say I've felt that in a cinema for a, quite a while, maybe since Avengers Endgame all that time ago last year. This is just a really, really great movie. It's got some fantastic action set pieces, it's got some great humour, it's got great heart, it's got great soul, it's got a really great story. As I said earlier, this is a trilogy of very different movies, but overall they form this really beautiful art story about these two guys in three different stages of their life and I feel like this third stage is the most compelling, it's the most intriguing, the most interesting, the most heartfelt, the most honest and the most hilarious. For me, I give Bad Boys for Life a very solid 4 out of 5. And at that, I'm going to throw this over to you guys out there. I want to know, have you seen Bad Boys for Life? If you have, how did you feel about it? If you haven't, what are your expectations like? Are you absolutely amped for it? Or are you just like I was going into this with very, very low expectations? Throw away in the comments below and let me know your thoughts. I'll also be putting up a Bad Boys ranking video. And once that goes up, you'll find a link for that at the end of this video, just after the jump here. Once again, thanks for joining me today, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy. If this is your first time viewing one of my videos and you'd like to see more like it in the future, then please don't forget to hit that big old subscribe button up on your screen, as well as that like button down below for that little extra support. Also, don't forget to check me out on social media, and please consider supporting me over on Patreon. Thanks for watching, and have a fantastic day.